Hi everyone, um, I'm going to do another instructional video with the ELAD FDM Duo. This time I'm going to demonstrate how it's possible to uh, listen to a medium wave signal uh, and a short wave signal at the same time. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I've been trying to hear uh, Rebel Day Cuba on 670 kilohertz for a while and not, not really with very much success. I often see a carrier on that frequency and faint audio, but certainly nothing strong enough to uh, obtain a direct ID. But with Rebelde, of course, and Caribbean Beacons, another one, you know, you can cross-reference the signal you're hearing on medium wave with their, you know, synchronized transmission on um, short wave, which for Rebelde, well, uh, the nearest, I guess, in terms of frequency is 5025 kilohertz. Um, and you can do that with this system. Um, the standard configuration gives you a span of um well i use yeah 153 kilohertz basically um for what i would consider sort of standard operation so um to hear uh rebel day on 670 and 5025 at the same time you need a sort of received bandwidth of nearly five megahertz um which is possible to do so um right now there's no signal from cuba at 20 to 3 in the afternoon uh, in Oxford so I'm tuned to the BBC on 693 they're playing the cricket which isn't of much interest to me um, and so the first thing to do is with receiver one um, is to go to the settings to an advanced tab and then there's a drop down box which allows you to uh, take a bandwidth option of nearly 5 megahertz. Click apply takes a few moments for the ELAD to sort itself out and while it's doing that the uh, backlight on the unit itself changes from blue to green I'm not sure why other than to remind you that you've done something different um, so we now have a bandwidth of 4.9 megahertz um, so we'll go to 693 again with receiver 1 um, because that's something that we can actually listen to at this time of day. It's close to the frequency of uh, Cuba. Um, and we have an IF spectrum. So there we are. So if we now go to um, receiver two, again, uh, this receiver is tuned to a medium wave frequency. Um, but what we want to do is we want to um, put uh, the Rebelde medium wave frequency at one end of the band width that we have available to us to allow us to tune uh, up to 5025. Now I'm not going to do that right now because there's no signal but I'm going to uh, tune to um, laser hot hits on 4029 kilohertz just to demonstrate you know that you can hear medium wave and short wave at the same time. Um, so I'll just slide this uh, along a little bit uh, to give us the uh, frequency window in the right place. Um, okay, so we're on receiver two, so let's go to um, 4029. Uh, I checked the signal earlier, it's quite weak actually. Um, let's have a look, have we got anything? So we have a signal. Pretty weak, but uh, it's there. Um, sort of tropical bands are dead right now, but um, but we do have a, a signal. So um, you know that's the, uh, the main thing that we're trying to demonstrate here. So just do this up. Uh, so there's our IF spectrum for uh, laser hot hits 4029 um, and if we now go back to uh, medium wave and let's tune the BBC back in uh, 693 so so there we have 693 BBC um, can have a look at that with a filter bandwidth of 13.5 kilohertz, not bad audio. You lose some of the detail when you use a very high, uh, sort of large bandwidth. Um, you lose some of the detail in the um, spectrum. I think it uses the same amount of data, but uh, uh, obviously it's 
basically spread over a, a wider frequency range. So 693, medium wave, um, and then straight to receiver two. And we have, okay, a better signal now um, from laser lot hot hits on 4.029 megahertz. Now, this actually, you do have enough bandwidth to, um, to take this to um, 5025. So this basically demonstrates how just by literally switching between receivers, you can be monitoring uh, a medium wave and short wave signals um, at the same time. So uh, from my point of view, as someone who's interested in medium wave and short wave DX thing who does it, uh, does both in the same listening session, you know, that's uh, a really powerful tool and saves a lot of time. Um, because when you're listening to me, uh, to weak medium wave signals, they fade in and out quite quickly. And, um, you know, you think you're going to get an ID, you know, um, but just the time tuning to short wave to check and, and back again, you know, you could have missed something here. It's just literally uh, the click of a mouse. So, um, you know, it's a really good way to... Uh, to use a uh, synchronized transmission on shortwave to check the ID of a medium wave uh, signal. Well, I hope you uh, found that interesting. Uh, thanks for watching.